Hi guys! So I've been asked to make a video about how I personally animate. This video is going to teach you how to animate without using Flash because I don't use Flash. However, I do think that you should learn Flash. It's perfect for any beginner and I really think that you should take the time to learn it because I didn't and now I'm doing things the hard way and I think that you could totally benefit from doing Flash. But I learned how to animate when I was around 12 years old using MS Paint and Windows Movie Maker. So this is basically doing that but with more advanced programs. These are the programs you're going to need. Paint Tool Sci, Sony Vegas, Photoshop, and last but not least, Xvid. You're going to need Xvid. It's perfect for rendering high quality videos and compressing them without losing the quality. Now first you're going to want to create a new folder because I really think it's important that you do not save your frames with all of your other pictures. It'll get them all messed up. So I'm going to be saving this one as ball because I really want to demonstrate how to make a ball bounce. So. Now that I have my folder, I'm going to open Sci, which I already have opened. So 1920 by 1080 is what I use. Open that up, and you have a blank canvas. Now if you're new to Sci, I would recommend having your stabilizer set to S either 1 through 7 because it smooths your lines very well. And I'm just going to draw a ball. Okay, so I'm gonna save this as I'm gonna save this as a .png named one, just the number one. And there's my ball. So then you're going to go over to the opacity right here and make it, you know, lighter. <laughs> then you draw another ball, or you could just move it. But for the sake of teaching you how to frame by frame, I'm just gonna redraw it. So here's another ball, except this is going to be a little more closer. You're going to save that one as two. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Three. And then we're going to get a little bit crazier here, you guys. You're going to make the ball hit the ground. So how you're going to do that is you're going to draw your little flat surface right here. And then you're going to draw the ball flatter. Just a little bit. Just like that. Save it as four. And then I'm going to make it just a tad bit flatter again. Maybe not that much. Oh, my animals are going crazy. Hold on, it's gotta be perfect. Just kidding. Okay, there. And that's gonna be saved as five. And just to make it a little bit more fluid, I'm going to go back to my first one, which is the first layer, and I'm going to move it up just a couple, so you hold control and then you press the up key a little bit just to have like an ease in there, which you can easily do with Flash. All of this can be easily done in Flash. And we're going to save this as six. Okay, so now I want to open Vegas. Okay, so once you have Sony Vegas open, you should get a pop-up that says something like this. You're going to want to set it to HD, 1080, to 24p. And then you're going to want to change the frame rate to 29. So you want 1920 by 1080, and then you want to press OK. And then now you're ready. So you press this little button right here that says Import Media. You click that, and then you go to your pictures. This is really very simple, honestly. And then you highlight all of that and open it. So now you have everything here. Now you want to take all that and put it down here. Now for yours, it'll probably be very long. But you can fix that, I think, in your property settings. And choose however long you want it to be. Like you would go to options, preferences. Um, okay, here we go. You go to editing and then new still image length. 
in seconds. So you can put this up and down however you want. Mine is set to 0 0.250. That's not the, the setting it needs to be, but it does make it a lot shorter so that I can choose whether or not I want to make it smaller or bigger. But that's much bigger than the frame needs to be. But I have it there just in case I need like a long still frame in my animation. So I just keep it like in the middle. But I think for animation it's going to need to be a lot smaller than that. Though I'm not really, I'm not really sure. I'm sorry. I, maybe the smallest it can go you might have to toy around with it. But this is what I have. So when I saved my last frame it was more so um to make the ball ease at the end so basically I'm just gonna keep that over here for now so you want to shrink these until they're I think the second to smallest they can go so you're gonna shrink these and just you can you can test to see if it's the smallest by blending another one in and if it blends all the way it means it's the smallest it could go yeah like that okay so you want it the second the smallest so I have that done, and then you want to do that, and then you just want to do that to all of them. All of the frames. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. But now what, right? You want to start putting them in backwards, since you want the ball to bounce back up. So, you're going to go to 4... Actually, let's do this a little bit longer, this frame, so it could like, you know, take time to smash them to the ground. And then you want to start putting them in backwards. But this time, we're going to put in the sixth frame, so it can ease when it's coming back up. And so now you have your bouncing ball. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Now, this is fine. This is fine for any animation. However, if you want it to be a little faster and a little, little smoother, because believe it or not, I don't know if you can tell, this is not as smooth as, as... I don't know if you can tell, but this is not as smooth as it could be. So to make it even smoother is you take these frames and you halfway blend them into each other. Like, you make this bigger, and then you blend this, and then you make this bigger, and then you blend this, etc, etc. This is really going to smooth out the frames. I use this for all of my animations, for the most part, unless I wanted to make it a teensy bit slower. 